Hello everybody, welcome back. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas break. We are back now for our second half of CC Cycle 1, and this is gonna be a review of some ideas on how to cover week 13. So we are gonna to start today with math and we are learning some liquid equivalents. And so we sing this to the tune of Them Bones and it sounds like this. Eight fluid ounces equals one cup, two cups equals one pint, and two pints equals one quart, and four quarts equals a gallon. Uh, if you do have a gallon like dispenser, I have one, but it's being used for vinegar right now. So I didn't want to bring that down. But if you do have one of those at home, you could show that as the full picture of a gallon. In class, you can also draw on the board the gallon man. And at home during this week for week 13, it'd be a good idea to work with your kiddos and draw an actual gallon man. And I will try to post one of those in here of the gallon man that we make or uh, attach it as an attachment. Uh, but those are all some fun ideas for learning liquid equivalents. And again, the tune sounds like this. Eight fluid ounces equals one cup, two cups equals one pint, two pints equals one quart, and four quarts equals a gallon. And that's how we cover our liquid equivalents. So that is math. For English, we are learning compound prepositions. So I have some motions for this. And if you want a tune, you could sing it to Auld Lang Syne, which I think of for the new year, since we're just coming back from a fresh new year. And the motions go like this. So we have according to, so according to, then we have in addition to, the next one is except for, and the sign for except for is to take your finger and pull that part up like that's the exception. So except for, in front of, out of, and then the last one's going to be instead of. So you take this and then you go like this. So instead of, okay? So again, that's according to, in addition to, except for, in front of, out of, and instead of. And those are all of our motions for compound prepositions. To sing it to the tune, it sounds like this. Compound prepositions according to, in addition to, except for, in front of, out of, and instead of. And those are the tune and the motions for compound prepositions. For history, we have Tell Me About the Kush. And so we will play the tune that CC provides in class and do some motions for it. And the motions that I've come up with for this tune looks like this. So we have K for Kush. So the Kush mind, this is the ASL sign for mind. So the Kush mind gold, the sign for gold, we, we do has been point to your ear like a gold earring and bring down the, the Y for yellow in your ear. So the fun thing about this song is that, sorry, not to back up too much, but the fun thing about this song is that it actually includes a lot of the hand motions that we've already learned this year, uh, incorporated from timeline and all the ASL motions that we've learned in different ways, even some of the prepositions that we've learned. So I'm gonna try to incorporate as many of those into this history lesson as possible. So back to the motions, we have K for Kush. The Kush mind gold along, this was one of our preposition hand motions, so along the Nile River from 2000 BC to AD 350. And then we have the Berbers, this is a B that we've also learned before. The Berbers traded gold, iron, we're gonna take like it, we're ironing something, iron and salt, this is the ASL sign for salt, just symbolizing how salt falls in the desert and we do this is the asl sign for desert because this means dry and this is the land so uh once again those motions are the kush mined gold along the nile river from 
2000 BC to AD 350, the Berbers traded gold, iron, and salt in the desert. And that is our hand motions for Tell Me About the Kush. Okay, for Latin, all of our Latin for the rest of this year is going to repeat what we've already learned at the beginning for the first uh, 12 weeks. So we're going back to week one and we are remembering the Latin noun cases, which we learned to the tune of three blind mice. So I've got my little mouse here as a reminder that it's to the tune of three blind mice and it sounds like this. Latin noun cases, Latin noun cases, nominative subject, genitive possessive, dative indirect object, accusative direct object, ablative object of the preposition, and that's how we cover our Latin noun cases. For a timeline, we have the a new age. So now we're moving on to the age of exploration. So for the age of exploration, we take our hands like this, age of exploration, and it's circa 1400 to circa 1600. And that's our motions for the beginning of that. Then we have Prince Henry found the school of navigation. So for P, it looks kind of like a K, but it's down. So Prince Henry, we're gonna do this, make the P and then make a sash going down. So Prince Henry founds the School of Navigation. We do this like we're navigating or steering a boat, okay? So Prince Henry founds the School of Navigation and then we have the slave trade in Africa. So we're, we're making the shape of Africa here. So the slave trade in Africa, then we have the Gutenberg, so G, this is a G in ASL, so Gutenberg's printing press, and then we have Songhai in Africa, and they traded gold with the Berbers, so Songhai, we're going to do the sign for gold, Songhai, and the other, then again, the sign for Africa, or the symbol of Africa, so Songhai in Africa, and then we have Tsar Ivan the Great, of Russia and we're just bringing our hands down on our hips kind of like the Russian dancing and so we have that was Tsar Ivan the Great of Russia and the last one is the Spanish Inquisition which was a um, council of the church and so we're going to make X's like this and come around like the um, sashes they wore when they do bullfighting um, not capes, that's the word I'm looking for, capes. So you take it like this from here. From there, you're doing inquisition. So you're gonna take your hand like this. So Spanish inquisition. And that is all of our hand motions for timeline for this week. And then we have Western Africa. And for that, we are going to take out our maps. And in class, uh, I thought it would be fun to use our hands like little fish or if you have some type of little water creature um, toys or anything like that, goldfish would even work, you could bring that. And uh, for review, we're going to take those little fish and uh, or your fingers as fish and we're just going to talk tell a story. So our little fish are starting out in the Atlantic Ocean. We are learning Western Africa. So. In Western Africa, our fish are going on a journey and they're starting out in the Atlantic Ocean here. And then they're going to go up the Senegal River, which is right here, up the Senegal River. And then they're gonna hop over to the Niger River and go down that river. Then they're gonna swim over to the Ivory Coast, which is the area in yellow right here. And they, just fun fact, they were no, they are known for their cocoa beans. And then from there, we're going to go and dry off and warm up in the Sahara Desert, which covers the biggest area on this week's map. And so um, that's the little journey that our little fish are going to go on. And that's how we're going to cover geography this week. And then for science, we are going to have printouts of this here, which is the geosphere. And so it shows the atmosphere, the core, the mantle, the crust, the biosphere, and the hydrosphere. And in class, we're going to already have this labeled. 
as you can see, it's already labeled. I got this from CC Connected. Uh, I will have to link the user. And basically what we'll do is as we cover each of these things, as we review it over and over in class, they will be coloring each of the parts. Uh, and color coordination to see what they are. And then we will sing this as they're coloring. We'll be singing to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle, a little star, and it sounds like this. What are some parts of the geosphere? Some parts of the geosphere are core mantle crust, hydrosphere, biosphere, atmosphere. These are some parts of the geosphere. And that is how we will cover science. So as we're coloring, we will just be going through each of these things and identifying the different parts of the geosphere. And that is how we'll cover science. For review, our community is actually doing something super fun. And this week we are going to be playing uh, Jeopardy. So one of our other tutors has made up a big Jeopardy board and we're going to review the last little bit for fun. And um, usually you would just review this week, we'll kind of cover that in class, but we are gonna have a little bit of fun reviewing what we learned and kind of refresh our memory from coming back from such a long break and play Jeopardy. This year I actually purchased the CC review cards and if Jeopardy is something that sounds fun for your home or your group, uh, I recommend having those cards. It makes something like that super easy because you can just stick them in the pockets and pull out whatever question is for that week and that subject. So just some fun ideas. I hope that this has been helpful for everyone. And if you have any questions, shoot them my way. Otherwise, I will look forward to seeing you all next week for week 14. Bye.